Hello and welcome back and uh, in this video we're gonna start creating our views so let's go ahead and get started so first view I'm gonna create is gonna be add new document um, so let's create a Swift file add new document and this is gonna be Swift UI view um, even though we are selecting Swift UI or Swift uh, template uh, we're gonna import from Swift UI Gonna create a struct. For a new document. Now this is gonna have three properties. This is gonna be an observable ob observed object for manager. It's basically our drawing manager. This is gonna be a private variable that's gonna keep the document name, and then there's gonna be a uh, boolean binding value, which is gonna um, be a toggle for show and hide okay so observed object All right, okay. Now its body is gonna be really simple. It's gonna have a V stack, which is gonna have a text. Then you're gonna have text field. We also gonna have uh, something called on commit, which is gonna allow us to save data when we hit enter, basically on on the text field. Okay, so we're gonna simply say manager dot add data. Okay, and text field style is gonna be rounded rectangle, rounded border text field style, like so. Okay, uh, let's also create a button if user wants to click on a button to create a document. Now what we can do is we can create a private function Okay, and we can move this guy right here and we can simply say file name All right and here we can simply call document name and document name all right and um, that is going to actually do the saving and the toggle part. Now let's go ahead and add some padding. All right, that wraps up our add new document uh, view. Um, let's go ahead and create another view and this is gonna be the placeholder view. So this is gonna be for uh, iPad when you um, open iPad and you don't have any view selected at that point how uh, what are you gonna show uh, not an empty screen so you might wanna give a give user a hint what they can do so that's what really placeholder view is gonna be for
All right. We're going to use a system image uh, called Scribble. And for the entire thing, foreground color is going to be gray. Okay, so that is going to be our, um, our placeholder view. All right, so now let's go ahead and bind everything into a content view. So we already have a content view actually. Why don't we move this in here and uh, yeah, I know this uh, happens every time whenever you move content view, you actually lose the uh, uh, the uh, IntelliSense or autocomplete functionality. Um, in Xcode 12 at least that I've noticed. Okay. Look at that. All right, so we're going to create a drawing manager and um, then we're going to create a state or add new shown and add new shown is going to be false all right remove everything from the body we need a navigation view all right we're going to wrap our list inside the navigation view which is going to have a for each which is going to go over each document in our manager and it's going to create a navigation link out of that which is going to have a destination drawing wrapper drawing wrapper takes manager so we're going to supply our manager there with id which is doc.id Okay, and second parameter is label for navigation link. And this is basically gonna be a simply a, a text with dot dot name in it. All right. Um, okay, it's getting a little bit hard without um, without intelligence <laughs> okay so that's our doc name and this and um, okay let's see our navigation link ends here okay and then on delete or for our list so basically swipe to delete is the functionality that we are providing you're gonna call manager dot delete function there and gonna have a navigation bar title display mode and we're gonna make the display mode as inline okay And we're gonna add at the trailing a button that is going to be used to add new basically the new document. So we're gonna simply say self dot uh, add new shown dot toggle. Okay. And we also gonna add a sheet and this sheet is going to be presented um, presenting is going to be presenting the add new dialog so add new 
shown for the content uh, we are simply going to say that this is going to be add new document which takes again a manager and add shown okay and uh, we also going to use our placeholder view for the iPad case. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. Um, we typed a lot of code without the help of IntelSense, so hopefully everything is going to be uh, okay. And it looks like it is. Um, okay, so let's give it a minute uh, for our simulator to launch and uh, basically look at our uh, our creation for this okay so there we go our ipad is open and uh, our app is gonna launch very soon okay let's see uh it's still still loading it seems All right, um, if it doesn't load in a minute, then I'm going to pause the video and resume when it's loaded. Okay, there you go. It's loaded now. All right, uh, so as you can see, our placeholder view is uh, right here. Uh, this is what we added, right? Placeholder view. Okay, so if you rotate around, uh, you actually get to see your user what they can do. And they can actually simply click on this to display. Anyways, uh, they can... Once again, hide and show. This comes for free um, with Swift UI, and you can add a new document. So let's add a um, new doc. Okay, and uh, this is our new document, and uh, we are simply gonna uh, create a new document. And there we go. All right, let's go ahead and add another one. And uh, let's go ahead and create some drawings here. And uh, there we go. Now I'm going to stop the app uh, to kill it. And uh, going to relaunch. And this is going to create a new launch. And uh, now if we see our documents have persisted. And uh, there we go. Our data is also persisted our drawing data is also persisted and we can see all the functionalities related to pencil kit are working just great okay so yeah so this was basically um the video series on how you can basically integrate pencil kit into swift ui and uh, in this we actually uh, learned a whole bunch of things um and uh we learned about core data, how to use basically a uh, data manager to manage all your core data related responsibilities, a view, con a view model that's going to be the bridge between your view communication and the uh, core data communication. And then you actually created a view controller that wraps your uh, pencil kit uh, into the view controller and then created a wrapper that wrapper actually uh, creates a swift ui view out of your view controller and then we actually tied everything together to show it on ipad now if you run on iphone i'm not gonna uh, i'm not gonna run it and wait for it to load because i don't have simulator open yet uh, but yeah if you go ahead and run it on on iPhone it should actually work as is um, and it should give you a slightly different experience uh, for the iPhone but it should regardless it should actually work on any of those and uh, once we have the Big Sur uh, available uh, then we're gonna start uh, creating that series where we're gonna cre create this app for multiple platforms so basically we're gonna create an app for um, 
create a universal app uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to work on Mac OS, on iPhone and iPad, all of them. OK, so we're going to see that example once the big seller is released. Um, OK, so with that, uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in next video series. Thank you.